It's another time with the power circuits. This weekly informative program is brought to you by the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. In this edition, we have the following reports. Power Minister begins facility tour. TCN clinches silver award on reforms from Bureau of Public Service Reforms. We have a spotlight on the 132-33 kV Apple Transmission Substation. you get to know how significant this facility is in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. In today's interview segment, we have an expository session coming to you about what you need to know about the auditing process at the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN. I bet you will find the information from the General Manager, Internal Audit, Hajia Lubabati Yusuf, quite useful, while appreciating the enormous work being done to train staff and institute a digitized internal audit process that promotes accountability and transparency. Please stay with us on this as I, Amara Agugesi, will take you through this edition. The Honorable Minister of Power, Chief Adebayo Adelabu, has commenced the official tour of the Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN facilities with an inspection tour to the National Control Center, Oshobo Ocean State. Speaking during the visit, the minister noted that he chose to visit the NCC first because of the strategic role it plays in the nation's power sector. The minister commended the staff of the Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN for their commitment and dedication towards the management of the national grid and pledged his support in ensuring that necessary upgrades are carried out to enable the company more efficiently transmit bulk electricity nationwide. His words, we conducted an inspection tour of the National Control Center facilities in Oshobo and the Oshobo sub-regional office of the Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN. The purpose of this inspection was to evaluate the condition of the facilities and equipment at the center. We also acknowledge the significant contributions of all stakeholders in the power sector in maintaining stability in electricity generation, transmission and distribution, he stated. The Transmission Company of Nigeria TCN has received a silver award from the Bureau of Public Service Reforms for undertaking key reforms in its operations. The Power Circuit brings to you a coverage of the award presentation ceremony held at the corporate headquarters of the company in Abuja. The team from the Bureau of Public Service Reforms was led by East Director General Dasuki Ibrahim Arabi to TCN where they presented a report on the Bureau's assessment of TCN's performance in the power sector. The report, which was systematically gathered from the TCN offices nationwide using the self-assessment tool SAT, TCN earned a silver rating plaque. In his remarks before presenting the award, the Director General of BPSR, Dasuki Arabi, said the ceremony marks the end of the deployment of the self-assessment tool for TCN. The reforms specialists noted that TCN has a key strategic plan that it has continued to explore in a timely manner. At the end of the self-assessment tool, the validation assessment and the in-depth analysis of TS, TCN's operations, process and systems, your performance is 68.18% and is therefore rated as silver organization that meets all expectations. Shortly after receiving the award on behalf of the management of TCN, the managing director and chief executive officer of TCN, engineer Dr. Sule Ahmed Ablaziz, expressed appreciation to the BPSR for the award and commended the staff of TCN for their unwavering commitment to work. I also want to thank our people, our staff, that at least we have scored 68.1 This is very good. <laughs> It's a pass mark, but we can do better. So all this is just because we have educated staff. Without 
efficient educated staff, we cannot achieve this. So we will continue to train our staff and we are going to continue to do the right thing. Thank you very much. In his remarks, the Executive Director of Human Resources and Corporate Services at TCN, Mr. Justin Dodo, noted the efforts of TCN staff in undertaking the self-assessment program. It is all ending in praises for TCN. I know this would not have been possible if we did not receive the cooperation from all of us seated here. Members of the Assessment 2 Committee at TCN also spoke on the sidelines about the process which took several months across the 10 regions of the company. Silver rates with a percentage of 68.2% uh, that was given to TCN is an indication that there is high compliance of TCN with the plans and principles of Federal Government of Nigeria concerning the, uh, their work ethics. We were able to go to the regions and ensure that this program was deployed at headquarters and the regions. The priority of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, is to ensure that it has a robust and technologically advanced transmission system to deliver bulk power across the country and beyond the borders of Nigeria. To this end, the management of TCN is always upgrading its substations while building new ones. The spotlight today is on the 132-33 kV Apple Transmission Substation and the Abuja subregion. It's a highlight on the significance of the bulk power transmission facility in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. Abuja subdivision was established in uh, uh, 1998. It used to be under Kaduna, from Kaduna. Then they moved to Shiroro. Then the maintenance school were coming in from Abuja. Then that was when it was on the uh, Kaduna region. Then when Shiroro was established, it now became the sub-region on the Shiroro region. The 132-33 kV Apple Transmission Substation is a key contributor under the Abuja sub-region of TCN. It used to have two units of 45 MVA power transformer, but that is not it anymore. The expansion train has caught up with the substation just like scores of other transmission substations across the country. Presently, we have a uh, eight substation on the Abuja sub-region with a uh, installed capacity of uh, 750 MVA on the 150 on the 330 kV voltage level and we have a uh, 1,235 MVA at the 132 kV voltage level. The subregion played and is still playing a very vital and important role. In the first place, Apple happens to be, Apple substation happens to be under Abuja subregion, and Apple substation was the first was the first substation that will in power to the FCT. So you can see it, it played a very important role. And even Apple substation, as I'm speaking to you, the same power supply from here up to the Nasarawa state. That is, we have uh, Karu, Kefi, Akwanga, all have been fed from here on the 22 voltage level. The Pioneer Transmission Substation has a very wide coverage area within Abuja and up to Nasarawa state. We have supply being evacuated from here to Kefi, uh, sorry, Karu, Kefi, Akwanga, from this place. And initially, even Abaji was from here before. But when Gogolara was created, it now shifted to Gogolara. Gogolara subdivision. With such capacity and coverage area, it is a key facility on the entire national electricity grid. 
the sub-region played and is still playing a very vital and important role. In the first place, Apple happens to be, Apple's obsession happens to be under Abuja's obsession. And Apple's obsession was the first, was the first obsession that will in power to the FCT. So you can see it played a very important role. And even Apple's obsession, as I'm speaking to you, a same power supply from here up to the Nasarawa state. That is, we have uh, Karu, Kefi, Akwanga, all have been fed from here on the 1 to 2 voters level. And Apple here, uh, as I said earlier, uh, willing power to the disco from this place and to the FCT in particular, willing over 70% of the power supply to FCT from this place. The Assistant General Manager Abuja Subregion at TCN, Engineer Musa Shwaibu, also said the management of TCN has delivered significant upgrades at the Apple source station and the Abuja subregion. Presently in Apple here, we have a 305 MVA. That means we have two by 100 MVA, one by 60 MVA and one by 45 MVA. One of the one by 40, 60 MVA, the 60 MVA was just recently installed under the FG Power Initiative. That means they removed one of the 45 MVA and now upgraded to 60 MVA. Likewise in other stations, like in, uh, in Kefi, it used to be 40 MVA before, but due to the expansion and increase in load demand, there's an additional uh, additional uh, 60 MVA there. So instead of 40, now we have 100 MVA in Kefi. Same with uh, Central Area. Central Area, right now there's uh, an expansion work going on there. It used to be 3 by 60. Now we are, we are moving tier 1, tier 2. We're putting 100, 100, 100 each. So that means instead of 180, we're going to have uh, 260. You can see there's increase in load. All right, uh, the school can evacuate more power from that angle. There is a team of dedicated engineers that see to the routine maintenance of these facilities, and Engineer Shwaibu speaks about this. Before the beginning of every year, we, have, we used to map out a maintenance schedule an annual preventive maintenance schedule where we schedule maintenance for all our switch gears and their associated protective switch gears. In addition to having periodic uh, breakdown maintenance, we used to have when there's any breakdown maintenance we quickly attend to it here. And one good thing here is that we have a team of dedicated engineers that are always ready to work here. Dedication of TCN engineers at the Abuja South region is at its best as they demonstrate their knack for implementing routine maintenance of the power transmission equipment right at the switchyard of the 132-33 kV Apple substation, the pilot transmission substation in Abuja. It is not just hard work that pays. Dedication is a key contributor to every success achieved. This is what it means for the management of the Transmission Company of Nigeria, TCN, to continually upgrade the Apple substation and the expansive Abuja subregion of the company. Verify that land before you buy it to drastically reduce the incidence of building under the transmission rights of way or encroaching on designated TCN land. Members of the public are hereby requested to verify land near or along transmission line route before purchasing it. Verification should be made in the Land Development Authority or at the TCN office. This would help in drastically reducing the incidence of building under transmission line right of way and save us all the problem of pulling down the structure or truncating transmission line expansion projects in your community due to court injunctions. Help us serve you better. Verify the land before you buy it.
the interview segment of the Power Circuit is on. Here with us today is Hajia Lubabatu Yusuf, the General Manager, Internal Audit. She speaks on the enormous work being done to digitize the process and enhance professional capacity. Get along with us. Would you share your work experience with us so far in the company? Yeah, my experience in leading internal audit department has been really fulfilling as having worked in two different um, departments. I worked in, in finance and accounts when I was employed and later redeployed to audit department. As time goes on, I was sent to head the internal audit department in the project management unit of uh, the World Bank. Later on, I was um, promoted to assistant general manager, internal audit. So I was posted back to headquarters. After some time, as I was growing, I was promoted to general manager but redeployed back to finance and account and head the treasury unit. Then, after like two years, I was redeployed back to internal audit as general manager and internal audit de department. So, the experience um, gathered has helped the department in fulfilling over day-to-day -day operational activities. What is the role of the internal audit department of the transmission company of Nigeria? One of the major role of uh, audit department is to give quality assurance to services to the management in order to achieve value for money audit for the organization. So internal audit department is effectively performing under my watch both in the headquarters and across the 10 region all over the nation. How does the internal audit department help the TCN management to promote transparency and accountability? Internal audit department comply with all relevant laws and policies such as procurement acts, financial regulation and extant laws which usually, usually a guide to the transparency and accountability in any organization. So internal audit from time to time has a robust engagement with ACTU and I'm also a member of the committee. We have a DEX officer from ICPC which is one of the committee members. So um, by that, um, by having him here, he's trying, he helps us to, to do the, th the right things. We are, we are going wrong, we, we, or we, don't, we are not very sure. He, we ask him questions and he put us through, most especially I as the internal auditor, because I face a lot of challenges within and outside. So I seek for his advice so that we will not be in problem. And then so he always ready to give advice on how to do the job well. Would you say the accountability and transparency unit in TCN is making a difference? It does. Yes, it does. Because um, the fact that we all know, including the top management that we have a member from ICPC, it makes us to do the right thing. Yes, it's really helping. It helps. The TCN management has prioritized capacity building. Is the internal audit getting a feel of it? In my department, Yearly, we organize conferences where we bring in people that are knowledgeable and still talk to us. And then if there's any loss or, or any loss, he, they, they advise us and put us through. So apart from that, we go for local and foreign trainings, training just to enhance our capacity. And then... Like for example, uh, there's this training we go for some time back, um, like uh, forensic auditing, uh, computer-based audit, risk management, and so on and so forth. So I think it's helped the department. How is TCN boosting the ICT capacity of the department? Um, the department has organized many capacity building on computer-based auditing uh, in anticipation of enterprise uh, resource uh, program that is uh, ERP to TCN 
as it relates to I mean, TCN business operations. The internal audit staff do belong to professional bodies. Of what impact is this to the company? Yes, uh, it is true because majority of uh, our auditors are member, members of uh, ANAN and ICANN. And this has greatly enhanced the performance of the department. Computer based auditing that we are starting, um, we have been going for training for that. So because they are professionals, <coughs> they are not just starters. So once you, they go for training, they come back and we train other staff. So they are really performing. It's really, yes, I, 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 I like it. The professionals are really helping the department to work better. Are there long-term visions for advancing the audit process in TCN? Uh, long-term vision, visions of the department is to ensure computer-based audit is really implemented as um, TCN is really working towards this deploying of uh, deploying the ERP, that is Enterprise Resource Program. So this is the vision. So that's. If they finish it, uh, I think it will make the work better, simple and better, and faster. What are your words of advice to the staff at internal audits? My words of guidance to them is to urge all of them to be professional in doing their job, in dealing with people and doing their job. Then you should be hardworking. They are hardworking, but I want them to put more effort. I mean to be, I mean to work better, and then. Uh, you should work as a team. You should work as a team. You understand? Because if you are working individually, you may not achieve the what you 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 may, you may not achieve what you want. But if you work as a team, you you achieve more, and you interact, and the work will be be fine for every, everyone. This is what it takes to promote transparency and accountability in any organization. Have the right professionals and drift to a digital internal audit system. And the pick is yours. Listening to Haji Alubaba to Yusuf, the general manager internal audit at TCN, has shown that the TCN management matches words with actions. Expect more informative interviews in subsequent editions of the Power Circuit. And that is it right for this edition. Power Minister begins facility tour. We shared the exciting news that TCN clinched the silver award on reforms from the Bureau of Public Service Reforms. The spotlight was on the 132-33 kV Apple Transmission Substation, bringing to you a highlight on the significance of the bulk power transmission facility in Nigeria's capital city, Abuja. And in the interview segment, Hajia Lubaba to Yusuf, the General Manager Internal Audit at TCN extensively spoke about the results of capacity building by having internal audit professionals training staff and instituting a digitized internal audit process that promotes accountability and transparency. With all these efforts at boosting the transmission system, you can also reach out to TCN on how the company can improve its services. Subscribe to the TCN YouTube channel, TCN underscore Nigeria. On Facebook, kindly like the page Transmission Company of Nigeria. On X, formerly Twitter, follow TCN via at TCN underscore Nigeria. TCN is also on Instagram, TCN underscore Nigeria. TCN takes your email messages seriously, so keep them coming via affairs.public at tcn.org.ng. Why don't you also learn about the company's activities through the interactive website? Do that on www.tcn.org.ng to get near real-time data of the Nigerian grid system. This is the transmission company of Nigeria, TCN, serving in the best way to transmit electricity in the most efficient and effective manner. Amara Agugesi says thank you. <laughs>